with a quick video today on how to be a successful property manager. I'm sure you saw it in the caption on there. So for those who don't know me, my name is Kimberly Bookert of KimberlyLadors.com and that's L-A-D-O-R-I-S, Ladors.com. And I just wanted to come up with a few quick tips before I jump into that though. I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you um, one of my clients gave us a great, great review on managing their properties, and I just wanted to give them a shout out, but this topic came up today, and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a quick video, because a lot of people think on being a property manager or landlord, which they're different, but we'll go into that another day, but they can still be under the same realm but um it's it's more of a who you are type of industry and treating people the way that you want to be treated i think it goes a long ways um and you first have to treat it like a business because it is a business um you know i bring my spirituality into everything so if you know who i am you know that's a part of who i am um but just like God tells us to run the church like a business, we have to run our businesses like businesses. So that's a huge thing when it comes to being a property manager. So first and foremost, my first tip would be to run it like a business. You can't let your tenants not pay rent on a consistent basis. Um, now me professionally, I don't have the opportunity to give those one chances. Um, and thankfully the law helps with that because if I give one tenant a chance then I have to give all my tenants a chance and when you're managing over 400 properties that's not going to happen so you have to be mindful of that another thing is to screen your tenants there are tons of service providers tons of um, websites that you can go to that will allow you to screen your tenants so get one of those services we can maybe do another video on a different um, a couple different ones and my opinions on those different companies um, I would be more than happy to do that if it will help you <clears throat> with screening your tenant and finding what suits suits best for your your clientele another one is have an attorney to look at your leases all your contracts um, any of your documents you want an attorney on your team so if you don't have one that you use for your business on a regular basis um, you want to get an attorney to look at your documents all uh, for your property management company um, and the other one do not discriminate in any way sex origin religion race any of that handicap do not discriminate make sure you know what your state laws are what your laws require you as a landlord property manager to do and in some states some of those things may differ but it's your responsibility to be aware of those when you go before the judge he will um, rule based on those state laws um, so you want to make sure that you are following those to the T and that you know um, exactly what is supposed to be on your, I mean, what laws you're supposed to be abiding by. So you wanna make sure you don't discriminate. You wanna make sure you have a lawyer review all your leases. You wanna make sure that you screen out your tenants and you wanna make sure that you treat it like a business. And then our last tip for today is make sure that you use move in move out inspection forms and that you get them if you can go with the potential tenants to the house when they're moving in that's perfect everyone doesn't have the opportunity to do that i definitely don't so when we do our lease signings we give them the move in move out inspection sheet we put the burden on them to get it back to us within a one week time frame and that's usually ample, um, ample enough time for them to go through the house and see things 
Um, Cause there's definitely gonna be things on there. I barely ever, unless it's a brand new house or one that we completely remodeled, do I barely ever get one of those that doesn't have something on it from a nail pop to a board that's squeaky to a washing machine that the lid is bent or to a gash in the wall. Um, the doorknob hit the wall on the side. There's a dent in the wall. Um, there's excessive hanging, uh, nails hanging in the room. Um, the sink, something's wrong with the sink or it doesn't drain all the way. I mean, there's so many more things that you wanna make sure that you get that move in, move out inspection report back from your um, your tenants within a timely manner and that they are put in the folder for that tenant there. Um, so that's five quick tips on being a successful property manager landlord. Um, we're gonna go through some more of these because that seemed to be an interest that people were interested in. So we're gonna give some more tips on being successful landlords and doing some more of investing stuff. Um, look for our course coming soon on being landlords, how to be it. We go into great, 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 great detail on being a property manager. Um, and we're actually gonna do walkthroughs through properties and everything so it's so exciting we are uber excited and looking forward to um, learning with you so if you have any questions or need to contact us don't hesitate to leave a comment below on there we would love your questions love to hear from you um, and let us know what we can help you with okay y'all make it a great day bye <laughs>